and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Key Aura. Uh, this was a deck that I put together, I think, last week that I just wanted to play some Key Aura and also just get an aggressive deck, kind of put them together. Um, and I enjoyed it, and we're going we're gonna to go ahead and try a little bit more of it today. So this is, you know, we're built around this card here, Key Aura Behemoth Beckoner, where it's a three mana... Uh, Planeswalker starts with seven loyalty, but whenever a creature power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Okay, so we need to just play creatures with power four or greater. Easy enough when we have some really good quality creatures with power four or greater, like Questing Beast and Shifting Ceratops, and obviously Bone Crusher Giants is one of the best cards in standard too. So we just kind of play like those, you know, those three. We're going to uh, sprinkle in some Gruel Spellbreaker that you know, just you just. Uh, Put the counter on it so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Um, Skargan Hellkite. Get some nice attacking in uh, with that haste in the air. And then also some removal of Voracious Hydra. Um, if you can play it for 6 plus mana, which Kiora helps you ramp, and you have Paradise Druid to ramp, and you play it later on, uh, you can draw cards with Voracious Hydra. But also Voracious Hydra, Bone Crusher Giant, you know, like these creatures also give you some removal. Um, and then, you know, like they not only hit hard, but then we have Vivian, help give him trample and everything. Kior gives us our card draw. The Great Hinge gives us our card draw. So we have good card draw. Uh, we're aggressive. You know, we could just play a lot of different games here uh, with this with this deck. So I like it. So we're going to be playing kind of a shorter league today. Let's get to the games. We're going to be playing some uh, ranked with a deck. Uh, traditional standard ranked. It's getting a little late. I, I, I'd usually stop streaming in about 45 minutes. You know, like we'll we'll play you know like around an hour or so with the deck. Um, I'm kind of tired after the really long stream yesterday and the overcooked and everything. And I've been been this has been a real busy day today anyway. So <clears throat> we may not play five matches with the deck. So I'm saying we'll we'll kind of play about an hour. Oh no. Well, we're going to need more than just one land. We got 25 in the deck. You know, just a, 25 is a pretty standard, probably the most standard number of lands in a deck. Um, let's put back Fable, Passage, and Mountain. <laughs> yeah, not off to a great start, Mullen the Five. All right, honestly, I think getting rid of Gilded Goose right away is very valuable. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to go um, Stomp into Giant instead of Druid into Vivian. Yeah, they may have been needing the Goose to fix their mana. This is likely... Yuck. <clears throat> this is likely Jund. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's Gruel. Or could just be Mono. Mono G. Photon! I'm trying to resub with the mobile device took longer than I want to admit. <laughs> well, thanks for, thanks for sticking through it and getting that work done and doing that. I really appreciate that. Our ninth sub of the day. It's starting to look like Mono G. So attack with the Paradise Druid here. Uh, Peg. We're, I'm gonna go with Peg. Peg, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay, ever since after seeing you build this, I made a Golgari version. It's your favorite deck right now. Okay, cool. So yeah, you went Golgari with with Kiora. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so that's our tenth sub of the day. This we got there. All right, we hit our sub goal. 
We'll put it up towards another one, though it'd be difficult to get there, but... Alright, so that's the sub-goal towards the next 12-hour stream. If you're kind of newer to the channel, that's what I, I do. We do every 10 subs. We hit a sub-goal, we do... Uh, and then every 20 sub-goals, we do 10 and 20. Every 20 sub-goals... Um, we do a 12 hour stream and so that is sub goal number eight so eight out of 20. and i just updated oh, nah. thanks peg do they just not get anything with trailer crumbs do they like miss I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. So they can kill my Vivian if they want to. Uh, um, but then it's going to leave their Vivian pretty vulnerable. We're fit enough to survive. This will be fun to watch. <clears throat> so this attack, so if they want to block the Paradise Druid like that, then their Vivian's dead. And they're down to one. And while they can kill my Vivian, I don't think they can, like, attack everything at Vivian and still stay alive. I mean, they're at one, so. Alright, I don't know. I don't really have to play Spellbreaker, even though it's not like playing Spellbreaker gives them any kind of new information. We're fit enough to but, survive. But you know, like they're dead here. So it's just I don't have to, don't have to play it. Oh yeah, Deathless Knight's pretty awesome. So yeah, I could definitely see Death Deathless Knight doing good here. In a key or a great henge deck. Okay. So I think I want to play some Brontodons. I think I want to like have some disenchants. Them playing great henge. Trailer crumbs. Trailer trailer crumbs seems pretty important to them. Uh, the, I'm sure they're playing. You know, like they had that the troll king. I'm sure they have uh, wicked wolf. Um, but what not to play? I'm not so sure about. Thinking maybe Ceratops. Take out Ceratops for two Brontodons and return to nature. No, two returns and a Brontodon. I really wish Brontodon triggered Kiora. It would be in the main deck if it did. Okay, so yeah, so you just replaced 
Bone Crusher with Rotting Regisaur and then play Deathless Knight instead of Hellkite. That's cool. Okay, you bumped up to the full four Deathless Knights? Yeah. Yeah, I I think I do need to play more Deathless Knight. I think that's an underrated standard card. All the mulligans. Yeah, all four lands came in, like, would be, would be, like, tap lands. Um. This doesn't look good. <clears throat> doesn't look good. Yorvo's really big. Alright, so Nissa can, or sorry, Vivian. Vivian can grow my Bone Crusher Giant to be Yorvo size. Try to get these giants to be the same size. I didn't crack because I wanted to try to draw a land. Hmm. Can make a four five to be able to block the four four. I mean, basically, just no matter what I was gonna do, like we we're we we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. All right, maybe that wasn't good sideboarding. Maybe I'll just keep the dinos. Get back in here. I have four mountains in the deck. How do we have two of them in our opener? Uh, this hand would be so good if we just had forest mountain. Oh my gosh. What a match. What a match. Stream Decker not updated. Not to 
but my friend's kind of a big deal. All right, well, Kiora can get us the cards that uh, make up for for mulliganing. Let's get moving. Everything from deer to dinosaurs. Get them. Let me draw a land. Hey. Nature flows with vigor. Land. Yay. All right, well, they have four cards in hand, and so do I, but I have a better battlefield. Oh, I love the no attack. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. You picked the wrong fight. That was a great turn for us, them just playing the Brontodon and not attacking Kiora, so we don't have to even think about trading. I think we're going to get this. I don't know. It's looking good. Ooh, maybe not. Sack your Brontodon. Go ahead. Nothing bad's going to happen. Just get rid of it. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Want to make it so Bone Crusher Giant is bigger than Brontodon? Dead with the gunslinger. Um, I don't know who that is, Ted, honestly. So, don't have any opinion. Okay. Do I want to play a new Vivian or Ceratops? I think basically everything we do is going to be lethal. Let's see. Will they go to 10? Okay, maybe not lethal. They block there. Hmm. All right. So I think Ceratops. Let's draw our card. We don't want to sacrifice this Vivian. Now everything has trample. We're fit enough to survive. Because you know, Ceratops, we can shock and or we could, you know, we're shocking in and give it trample.
my favorite card spoiled so far, maybe Kiora. Being able to flicker stuff at end step all the time. Just gives me more stuff to make, you know, like a Charming Prince. Kind of flicker deck. I like, I like enter the battlefield creatures. Or Thassa. Yeah, that's Thassa. Sorry, I have Kiora on my brain net right now. That's Thassa. That's what I meant. All right, we won both of our mold of fives. Lost when we kept six cards. So it looks like the the real strat is to mold a five. That's the strat there. Bones. I think we can get Mountain here and still be just fine for Vivian. I'd only have three other non green lands in the deck. No, yeah, you, you cannot untap Shifting Ceratops with Kiora with the with the protection from blue. So I'm assuming they're going to hit me with Rankle, say both creature, both players sacrifice, they make me sacrifice the Bone Crusher Giants. Um, I still would rather, and then they sack the Gutter Bones. I would rather sacrifice, uh, okay, they're just doing that. I'd rather sacrifice Bone Crusher Giant than Questing Beast. But this one's over. I I don't think Heliod was, was a mistake to print at all. So we have to kind of trim Kioras, which just don't have the time to play them. I think I like keeping the Great Henge, though.
<clears throat> Alright, we got two cards, two pair. So this is why I boarded out one Paradise Druid, because it is awkward with Flame Sweep. Definitely worried about another Ember Cleave. I guess they have discarding Bone Crusher Giants. Good chance their last card's Ember Cleave. They're gonna keep here. I can't really do anything about it. Good hand. Seven sixes are difficult to kill with red removal. Especially when they come down on turn three. Hey Simba. Um, yeah, besides food decks, what else would you suggest building? I mean, I think blue eye control is really good. Yeah, you know, like we got, yeah, like you said, we have 12 days. It's it's only 12 days until the new set is out. And so waiting uh, may be the best bet. It's either Paradise Druid or, or uh, Ambush. I'm keeping the three lands and I'm keeping Cure or Questing Beast. And so it's either play Paradise Druid on turn two, or have Ambush to play after Beast. Keeper is pretty scary. So 
So they have, I'm assuming they have Giant Killer in hand. Because they didn't attack with Paradise Druid. Which maybe means I just need a Voracious Hydra to kill the Innkeeper, but I, the reason why I didn't do that, even though I assumed they had the Giant Killer in hand, is because with one more... Man, are you kidding me? They had three Innkeepers? Because if I if I wait one turn, then I get to draw a card off Voracious Hydra. Because I can do Voracious Hydra for four next turn with Kiora. I mean, actually, I mean, we get to just do that with Castle. We don't even have to... I guess we can technically do Voracious Hydra for five if we want to minus Kiora. Let's do for four. Alright, we'll start getting rid of these innkeepers. I guess I may need to kill this Krasis instead. One mana short. One drop ripples and grows. See, Kiora is pretty sweet. And Rage Siders is awesome. No, I don't have any Lotus Fields in here. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive. We thought about adding a, a Lotus Field, but I didn't really want to. Um, if we had like Hydra Crisis and stuff like that, I'd, I think it'd be worth it. But with basically just Voracious Hydra. I mean, I guess Gargan Hellkite. I'd get out of the way if I were you. It's kind of nice too. It doesn't seem like they have more adventure creatures, really. They haven't been playing them. Let's get rid of this really annoying thing that's tapping my creatures. Which ain't cool. I love to make a splash. Gargan Hellkite. This game was pretty sweet. That was a cool game. Did we mold a five again? Are we just crushing when we mold a five? I think we mold a five there again, didn't we? No, we just mold a six. Yeah, never mind. We just mold a six. Okay, so Flame Sweep can kill Paradise Druid. You know, kill like those little things that they got. Um, you know, Edgewall Innkeeper. And I'm sure they're playing the three mana 5-5 five five that brings in the little 1-1s one with it. So Flame Sweep does sound pretty nice. Uh, fry... Don't really need Fry. I mean, basically Fry, the best thing, you know, like Krasis. Really what we're seeing over there. Of 
course, the problem with Flame Sweep is my Paradise Druid. I'm going to play two sweeps over a Spellbreaker and a Druid and call it a day. And the trick is to mulligan whatever comes in your first hand. Just whatever it is, just send it back. It's not good enough. Just, you're going to be tempted to keep it, but don't do it. Tempted to keep it. Because I had three lands, four spells, but I'm not really doing too much. No, I, di I didn't, Benny. Gross. I need more flame sweeps. <laughs> Should have brought in all three. More flame sweep. All right, I just need to keep a better hand. I know. That'll teach me to not mulligan. That hand's perfect, though, right? Like, does that... Does... Like, that's the perfect hand, right? You get Love Struck Beast, turn one, make a 1-1. One, one. Turn two, you play Paradise Druid. Turn three, you play Edgewell Innkeeper and a Love Struck Beast. And then turn four, you play Nyssa. That's the perfect hand, right? See? Mulligan. Now we got a chance. Okay, yep, absolutely, Candice. Yeah, we'll do best of three. Yep, best of three league. Perfect. I'm not sure if the deck would be better with Pelt Collector. Not sure, honestly. Um, Puck Collector is is awesome, you know, when you have it right away, turn one and everything. Basically, to be able to play Puck Collector, you probably have to play less big creatures, like less Kiora targets, less things that trigger Kiora. What Hawkeye? What Hawkeye? Are they just chilling with counter magic? Okay. They are. Can't you tell me can't you tell me when you're gonna sneeze so I can mute the mic?
think about making an, an eight nine Hydra. And that disdainful stroke was was pretty rough. Yeah, you wanna come sit on my lap, okay? I'm glad I didn't just make an eight nine. Oh, what? Oh, I, I clicked the auto pass thing before. No, don't. I tried to unclick the auto pass thing this time. Uh, come on. <laughs> that really hurt. Her Hawkeye. Oh, why am I attacking? No, because they get to just block with Love Shark Beast. They can't attack anyway. That's not good. That means Innkeeper plus Giant Killer. That's not good. Well, I messed this game up. I mean, I'm just doing what I can to survive now. But I messed this game up. Uh, told y'all I'm really tired. <laughs> I messed that game up by just skipping the turn. And then I should have, I should have just had Voracious, I should have just played a 4-4 Voracious Hydra, killed the Beast, but. They had some really, really good turns. You know, like that Disdainful Stroke from my Great Henge was perfect, and then this Innkeeper Giant Killer was just the perfect turn. They had some great turns. Very nice hand with their four mana. GG. Hey, yeah, I'm nervous with the Hawkeye watching. Okay. Yeah, Hawkeye's happy. He's purring. That's what matters. These Edgewall Innkeepers.
yeah, Mono White Life Gain did pretty well. It, you know, just struggles against control. Like, that's just how it is. But it did pretty well. Vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. We're gonna tear you apart. <clears throat> What's good against control? <laughs> Nothing. We got answers for everything, Hawkeye. Especially a bunch of angels. Paradise Druid is so good. So good. My, my, how you've grown. No. This land, we are all no, Vivian. Rise, my elemental friend. That's a good draw. That was a good draw. I says almost every time I see you play Gruel on here, the results have been uh, haven't been that favorable. Is anything Gruel just not that good in the format, or is it just bad luck with the draw? Um, honestly, I thought you were gonna say the exact opposite. I feel like I've done very well with a lot of different Gruel decks, so I I don't know. Um, Yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it's when you watch. I don't know. Strange and magnificent world. Think they'll ever run out of Nissa's Hawkeye? I should fetch with Fable Passage first. Yeah, we had just drawn like a couple lands in a row anyway. Should have fetched with Fable Passage first. <laughs> you say you're a cute kitty, okay? Probably smarter to um, leave extra mana to play more things. I don't know, but I want to play a big Voracious Hydra. The 
These are the Kiora sleeves. All right, so Bant Adventures again. I don't think I should sideboard out Paradise Druid. I think I'm over that. Maybe I don't play Flame Sweep. Maybe I just go run it back. I don't know. That Ceratops is pretty awesome. Or that Spellbreaker is pretty awesome. I'll cut one Ceratops and play a Chandra. Let's try that. Bounce the Bone Crusher Giant. All right, I shouldn't have fired off that Bone Crusher Giant. Should have been more patient. They could play a small creature here that I'd want to be able to stomp, but I can't now. Hey, Alex. Yep, like that. Should not have fired off that Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Good night, Eden Edenalva. Edenalva. Have a good night. Yeah, everything's going pretty good. I had a really long day today, so I'm pretty worn out by now. Um, but we had had some good matches of magic today, and especially we, we did really well with the Orzov Vampire deck. That was that was a surprise, but a a welcome surprise. Cool, yeah. Yeah, check it out on on the YouTube. I think this is going to be our last match for the night. Hopefully we want to end with a 2 and 2. I will protect the virtue of this world. There goes nothing. 
It's getting stuck on land here. Behold, too many cool things power. to play. You can keep bouncing the Great Henge with the fairy. Thanks, little Frank. They may bounce Spellbreaker to get more damage in. Here we go. Which I like that because that's going to give me more mana to try to unload my hand and start trying to kill everything. I'm going to do all this damage to Nyssa and to Fairy and everything. Oh. I was like, what? I thought they were destroying the creatures. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, could be nine. Hey, thank you so much there, Canthic. And go Titans. Oh, I guess I could have just done two and done the Great Henge part first. Um... I need to also kill I mean I should just kill the love struck beast. What am I doing? Just kill the love struck beast. That's more like it. I need to kill the one one. Just kill the bees. The land fights for us. I 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I didn't just kill the lost drug piece there. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Peace. You picked the wrong fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing sloppy. I'm playing sloppy. I could have just done an extra point of damage to Nyssa by using the Ceratops here also. I'm playing sloppy here. The land shall conquer you. protect you. Looks like I'm losing this game. But it's looked like that for a long time. It's not breaking news. Eight, so it's an eight seven. Vivian kills that. Eight minus five is three. Man, if I would have dealt that extra point of damage to Nissa. But no, because I need to kill this crisis. Hmm. Stomping time. With the Arcbow at my side, I can't lose the fight. With my aim and their claws, you're done. Still have six cards over there. I was going to have Ceratops block the Hydro Crisis and Bone Crusher stomp it.
Oh, yeah, I can't play Giant as an instant because of that Teferi. Yeah, so I guess that plan wasn't going to work. More mulligans. Life would have definitely been easier if I would have just killed the Love Struck Beast instead of the 1 1. Would have made a. So those last couple of turns a little easier. But oh well. Go break some spells. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to play the MCQ. I'm, um, I'm going to be out of town. I really hope they don't have a counter spell this turn. I hope I get to, because I can Voracious Hydra for five this next turn. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be out of town the 8th through the 11th. And so, you know, I didn't know it was going to be on the 11th. They just sent that email, like, yesterday. That's that. That's really bad. I really wish I could play. I mean, to see, like, when my flight gets back on the 11th, maybe I can somehow. But I don't know. Alright, two and two. Yeah, we got the love struck that time. We finally, finally got the love struck. So yeah, our deck felt pretty powerful, honestly. Um you know, I want I'd want to kind of keep playing it some more, honestly, but I'm I'm just pretty pretty worn out and we're we're half hour over the normal stream time and I need to get like some dinner and go to bed and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, even though two and two, it, it felt pretty good. I felt like I probably could have played a little tighter with some of those games, maybe sideboard a little better. I mean, we got riding Regisaur at Ember Cleaved one time, like that's just going to happen. Um, but yeah, like these cards, like they, they hit hard, but then we have the card draw with Kior and the Great Henge. Voracious Hydra is just an all-star. Voracious Hydra, Bone Crusher, Giant, Questing Beast. Like these three cards are just amazing. I like this deck. I like this one. Uh, yeah, we could probably play an Ember Cleave. I'm, I'm basically going Vivian in like the Ember Cleave slot. Um, but you could go Ember Cleave or you could split Vivian and Ember Cleave. I just I like how Vivian is like removal also with the minus three. But honestly, Ember, yeah, Ember Cleave just kills people really, really fast. It, it could be that I just like Vivian. You know, I just really like Vivian, but it could be that, that Ember Cleave would just be better. And I'm being stubborn. Um, but same thing, like the four, four, four copies there of like Great Henge Vivian, like you could, with these four slots, you could fit an Ember Cleave in somewhere there, either cutting a Great Henge or cutting a Vivian. And could be, I'm just, just like the green cards too much and Ember Cleave just wins the game and, and I'm trying to do other cool stuff and I should just win games. Um, so, <clears throat> so there we go. 
All right, so that's Gruel Kiora. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Let me know what, what you think of the deck, if you think that we should have an Ember Cleave in one of those four slots or anything else. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.